Hey guys, welcome to Jane's Random Reviews. Today we will be comparing the Asus C200 Chromebook versus the Acer Chromebook 11. So let's jump right in. So let's talk about pricing. This is priced at $198 versus this is priced at $178. Now there are two models that you can get. You can get the 2 gig of model on this and it is cheaper. This is the 4 gig of model. You can there's no other expansion like you cannot get 4 gigs on this computer. Sadly. But they both have 2.16 gigahertz. They both are 11.6 inch screens and they this is 2.5 pounds and this is 2.4 pounds. If that matters to you at all, these things, let's just put it this way. They are thin they're small and they're lightweight. So they both have Intel inside, which runs really well on these computers. And the pixels are just about the same. They both have um, LED screens and they both run Chrome OS. So in my last couple videos, I explained to you everything you need to know about a Chromebook and Chrome OS and the features that Chromebook do. So that is the simple specs of both computers. Now we will be loading Chrome OS and some other things to get a real perspective of how fast these things are. Chrome OS is searching very often. So three, two, one. Bang! That was so fast. There was actually no lag. So big thumbs up for loading Chrome OS. That'll be instant. So next we're going to load ESPN. And three, two, one. Wow, that was instant. Now, just so you know, these are on the same Wi Fi network, so we were getting accurate readings. And so it looked like this guy won that, and they tied for about Chromos. So we'll do some other tests. Next, we will be loading an NCS song on YouTube. So this is basically an average video. That you would be loading on YouTube if you were on there. So as we can see, this did win. I mean, this one did win because this had a little bit of lag. Let's just put it out this perspective how loud this sounds. Can. So, man, these things do get loud, and let's talk about speakers next. Now, these guys win speakers. Now, why I say that is because if this might be helpful, these speakers are so much louder. Check my other video on this review, and they show how loud these speakers are, and the review on this. But I have to give it to this with the win. These things blast. When I first opened this up, I was so impressed on how loud these speakers get. It's just incredible. So as I've done a couple tests with loading websites and other things, these things are extremely fast and you'll have no doubt with lag. But as I said in my other videos, you have to have Wi-Fi to get good speed. So if Wi-Fi is a key factor that you don't have, Chromebooks are not good for you. But if you have good Wi-Fi, these are what you want and they do a great job. They're cheap computers or inexpensive computers. They do a great job when you're in the house and you're doing simple work, for example, typing papers on Google Docs or just searching information on Chrome OS. So definitely give a thumbs up to both these computers. Now, it's hard to tell which one will become a winner. In a sense, they both do about the same job. I know this does have two more gigs of RAM and that could be a key factor for you, but going over tests and as I've used these for a long time, they both run fine, they both run well, but I've noticed that occasionally this does have a little more lag than this computer, and I've noticed that this computer is faster. So if I were to pick a winner, slight edge, very close, it's probably the Asus C200 Chromebook. But if you want to sp sp save some money, go with this guy. It'll give you great speed. It's not a big difference. It's not like you're losing a big key part in a computer. They're both the same. The only difference is this guy's got two gigs of RAM. I mean, this one has four gigs of RAM, and this had two gigs of RAM. So if that matters to you, it's all up to you. 
If you're looking for an inexpensive computer that gets the job done in just about every daily use, these, both of them, they'll work fine. I mean, this one's fast, this one's fast, as we've seen in the speed test, and they're great computers for inexpensive prices. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe, because there'll be many videos to come in the future. Always, thanks for watching.